Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. Today we have a 2005 Jaguar X-Type. It's the top of the range. It's got the 3 litre V6 engine coupled with all-wheel drive. It's the Update Series. It's got a nice set of alloy wheels, near new Pirelli tyres, and it's got navigation. Other features include Bluetooth and a wood grain steering wheel. It's a very nice colour combination, grey with beige leather interior, or cream leather interior I should say, and someone's really looked after it. It's been perfectly serviced. I'll show you the, uh, the logbook during the video, I've got some photos of it as well. It's got two remote keys. The car is in immaculate condition. The 3 litre V6 has plenty of power and because it's all wheel drive it really puts the power to the road. There's some other great features including the ability to fold down the rear seats. You simply pull this lever and it folds down. It's got a full size spare, that's the original factory wheel which was updated obviously. The boots are very good size. It's got rear parking sensors. Looking down the side, it's gun barrel straight. Someone's really loved this car. So it's a five seater. It's a great color combination. We know it's got a good service history. We're about to have a closer look. All these books are nice and thick. It's got a spare key. There's your service book. So the last service was only done in March this year at 109,340 kilometres. The car's only done literally a few hundred kilometres since the last service at Bagala Automotive, who they specialise in a lot of European cars. They've done a lot of the servicing. Basically, it's been done at 109, 99,000, 91,000, 83, 79, 72, etc all the way through and as you can see here it's due for service annually or every 16,000 k so it's been serviced very well which is very good to see unfortunately when you buy a second hand car if it hasn't been well serviced over its life it's not something you can you can change if it hasn't been serviced on time and it's had a detrimental effect on the engine you can't actually go go back and uh, get it serviced properly, no matter how much money you spend, it'll still be an engine which hasn't been looked after. So I think when you're buying a second-hand car, especially a Jaguar like this one, I think it's, it's good to be quite fussy with the logbook. And we certainly are here. So you can see the Pirelli tyres are very good. It's got P1s on it. I think when you're buying a Jaguar, for me personally, I want a lot of wood grain Ideally, a timber steering wheel, a cream interior. We love having the, the Jaguar on the front. And we've sold a number of them in this, in this same grey colour with the cream interior, and it does sell very well. We do have another Jaguar in stock, an X-Type, which is a 25 litre all-wheel drive. Both very nice cars, and they are incredibly reliable. I understand that in the 70s and the 80s they didn't have a great reputation but since the mid 90s they're building incredible cars which are reliable, in this case economical and uh, we've started seeing them with well over 300,000 kilometres especially in the XJ series. Thanks again for watching and we look forward to hearing from you.